It's Wednesday, September 15th, 2010. I'm Jeff Bacalar, and it's time to get loaded. Twitter is getting ready to roll out a totally redesigned version of its site. In a video detailing the improvements, the new Twitter.com will combine most of the site's functionality into one page. Among the updates is a streamlined version of your Twitterverse with at mentions, retweets, searches, and lists just above your timeline. For more on the changes, head over to Twitter.com slash new Twitter. The first reviews of the social network movie are out, and CNET's own Caroline McCarthy got a chance to screen the Facebook origin film last night. She calls it thought-provoking, but possibly too brainy for mass market success. This coupled with the questionable accuracy of the film's content certainly make for some controversy, but you're going to have to decide for yourself when the film's released nationwide on October 1st. Though the HP Slate was announced at this year's CES in January, it is yet to go on sale. But the company did confirm yesterday that they are indeed working on a tablet that will run Palm's WebOS operating system. The company says that the rumored Palm Pad will make its debut in early 2011. But don't worry if you're still hoping for a Windows 7 slate, HP says it'll ship that by the end of this year. According to Gawker and now confirmed by Google, the company fired an employee over privacy breaches at its Seattle offices. David Barksdale is accused of breaking into the Gmail and Google Voice accounts of several children. Now he's not accused of sexual misconduct, just incredibly poor judgment. As the service engineer, Barksdale had privileges to peer into accounts to check for data integrity. All this comes at a very bad time for Google, which is still under increased scrutiny over privacy concerns. Those are your headlines for today. I'm Jeff Bacalar for CNET.com, and you've just been loaded.